In this video, I will introduce you to a tip that had helped me find additional information when I'm investigating a security incident. Hello and welcome to Tool or Tip Thursday, a series where I introduce you to a new tool or a new tip that I proved useful for me in my security career. Today's tip is all about PowerShell console history. Did you know that PowerShell keeps track of its history, meaning that you can see previous commands? This is extremely useful to know because this helps you understand what might have happened during that time of interest, specifically in PowerShell. By default, the PowerShell history is saved under the directory shown on the screen. And you can also modify some options as well. So if you don't like the default location, you can change it to somewhere else. Over to my lab machine, the first thing we want to do is check our PowerShell version by opening up a PowerShell window and typing host. Now we can do this a couple ways, but in this demonstration, I'm going to hold left shift and right click. This will show up an option where you can click on open PowerShell window here. Once you open that up, a PowerShell window should show up here. And now you can type in host. By typing in host, the thing we want to see is version. Now looking at this version it is 5.1. And the reason why we want to look at the version is because prior to version 5, PowerShell did not save its history by default. So knowing that this version is above 5 and it is 5.1, we can safely assume that the history file is saved by default unless someone changed the default settings. Now we can perform a test by typing in a command like who am I? and get some results. We can also put in IP config and maybe even net user. Typically some commands that a threat actor may use. Now that we entered in those commands, we can start heading over to the directory where the history file should be stored. There are multiple ways to navigate to this file, but we will first navigate to this file via PowerShell. And by doing that, we can go ahead and clear the screen by typing clear or CLS. Now what we want to do is type in CD for change directory and type in dollar sign ENV colon app data backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash PowerShell. And at any given time, you can press tab to auto complete, which I will do right now. And now we want to type in PS read and press tab again to auto complete and hit enter. Now we should be in the correct directory. What we can type now is dir, whoops, dir or ls to see what is listed under that directory. And we can see consolehost underscore history dot text. So this is a good sign that it captured some commands. Now, in order to read it, we can type in cat and type in console with tab to autocomplete and hit enter. Now you can see there's multiple commands that I've tried in the past. So you can see host, who am I, clear, host, who am I, IP config, and net user. And this helps you identify any potential malicious commands that a threat actor may have performed during that investigation or during the time of interest, I should say. Now, the second way I want to show you is manually navigating to this file via the file explorer. So what we want to do is open up the file explorer which is a file icon there. And then you want to go to the C drive, click on user, click on the appropriate user. In this case, I am under Bobby. Now you might ask where exactly is app data in this case? Well, app data is actually a hidden folder. So we can go at the top, click on view and click on hidden items. Here you can see app data now. We can go ahead and double click that, go into roaming, go into Microsoft, Windows, PowerShell, PS read line, and there you have it, your console history. Double click that, and then you got it. Beautiful. And there you have it, a quick tip to help you identify potentially malicious commands in PowerShell during an investigation. If you enjoyed this video and found this tip informative, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to.